Okay, now we're gonna restring a standard Stratocaster style guitar. Uh, basic tremolo guitar it has uh, an opening in the back for the ball end of the strings to go into. And uh, we'll start by taking the strings off first. The old string winder is a very necessary tool here. Uh, knowing what kind of strings your guitar has on it when you start is important when you pick the new ones. Um, with a guitar like this with a tremolo, if you put a real heavy set of strings on there or a, a set that's considerably lighter than what you have had on your guitar, it's going to affect the tension on that tremolo thing down there. It's kind of hard to see, but when when this guitar is tuned up, this thing's sitting off the face of the body a little bit and see it's, it moves. It's flexible. And there's some springs inside here. You can just see the end of the spring hook in that that counteract the pull of the strings. And if you put something real heavy on there, this bridge will pull up real high. It's going to you know, cause the strings to get a little high and change, change the way it plays and feels. So if you don't know what's on your guitar, take it down to the music store. And they've got a slick little device like this. We know what this is. It's just like a micrometer here. You can just measure how thick the string is. Well, it's about a 42 thousandth, and that set we're going to put on. Uh, the first string is a 9 thousandth. So we're going to put a set just like that on here so, it, so it'll feel the same, and, and we're not going to change anything down there at the bridge. So take your old strings off. Well, these winders and a pair of wire cutters are pretty necessary tools to be doing this. Get them all off rather than try and fish them all through the bridge like they are. Cut them. They're going to come out through the back of the guitar. You see that little opening there? Our new ones out of the pack. Like I say, we got the same gauge as what was on there. And the strings will come. This company puts them all in individual packs and they're all different numbers and this refers to which size string it is. The biggest one is obviously the biggest one. The smallest one obviously the smallest one. So I'll start with the biggest one and pick it up off the floor. Now, I usually get the guitar in a little easier to handle position for me, and I'll stab this string through this little hole. It's going to come out through the front, and just, just pull it up where that little, that little ball end of the string, this piece here, goes up inside that bridge block, and just rests. And it's easier on these, or maybe it's easier for me, and faster to put them all in first, and then I'll go up here to the other end of the guitar, and put them on the tuning posts. Now we've got all our strings in, we're ready to start winding them on the posts up here. So if untangled there. Um, my wire cutters, I'll cut about five inches past the tuning post. It's just a place to start and I'll get the uh, the string uh, opening here kind of going straight to the, the 90 degrees to the where the string is going down the fingerboard. And I'll put about that much string through there and where if you looked at the side of my fingers it's almost like I'm making the letter S. I've got enough string wrapped uh, to, it, my goal is to get enough string wrapped around this tuning post to come down from this point here to the bottom towards uh, the bottom of the tuning key to get some pressure in this slot. I don't want the string going straight to here I want it coming down and exerting a little pressure in that groove. Now I take the string and come around and go underneath it like this and then bend it back. So when I start winding it, it's actually locked the end of the string in place. Now, I'll keep a little tension on it while I wind it. And my goal is to get about three or so wraps of string around that tuning post. Then I'll just snip off the extra. And every string, pretty much the same story. There's a couple little devices here on the face of the headstock and they're called string trees and it's not used on these two strings because they're so close to the this piece is called the nut but the next four strings the fender feels like you should have a little more pressure holding them down 
in these slots. So your string. So we're going to do the same thing there, but your string now is going to go underneath this little piece here. That piece keeps downward pressure on the string. There's some uh, discussion. Some people talk about stretching your strings, which, uh, you know, to give you uh, better stability uh, on tuning after you've got this thing strung up, uh, to make sure your strings are tight around these posts. I kind of like to reach up here and kind of push around, pull downward. Some guys reach down here and pull up real hard on the string. The, the, problem that you want to avoid or, or what, what you want to avoid is creating a bend. You know, if you pull real hard here in the middle and you get a little funny little bump in the string, your string may not oscillate properly when you pluck it and it may cause you some tuning issues with that particular string. So be careful not to jerk too hard down here and create an artificial bend in this wire. But up here you can press and make sure it's got all the wraps tied around that tuning post. When you start tuning these kind of guitars up after you've restrung it, when you start tightening the strings, the tension's going to change down here and start pulling this piece up. So by the time you've started here and moved across to this string, when you started with this note, it was up to pitch. And by the time you get over here, the bridge has come up, so this string's not as high as it was. You can check your tuner. You could also do this. You could listen to the tuner because it's got it can play a note for you on some tuners. Sort of match that pitch. say if the whole time you're doing this the bridge is coming up a little bit every time I tighten the string so you have to go back and back and back and retune. I don't know if you can see that bridge move if I do this real quick. Shut that off. You see it changing position. So having an electronic tuner handy is going to help you get this thing in tune quicker.